It's an unseasonably warm fall day, so we're here to enjoy the leaves while they're still on the trees. They are hanging in there a little bit later than usual this year because it has been warm. We're at Doksugung, which is a palace around City Hall, and we're gonna go walk around and find a cafe that was recommended. Let's head out. All right, it's looking freaking chaotic in there, so we might have to get it to go. It was made famous by a French celebrity, French celebrity yes, living in Seoul, and he recommended this one, so let's go check it out. Oh, do you see it? I think they might be, uh, yeah, they might be in the fridge. You see that in the fridge? What's that one in the back though? <laughs> For cappuccino, cinnamon is a must, really. Mm. It's nice. I'm gonna just move it to the side, okay? Oh, it's really soft. I was not expecting that. Okay, right, in the center there's like chunks of the chashin, so I'm gonna go for that first. It's very light, so I don't feel like it's overwhelmingly sweet. But it's also not blowing my mind. But the cappuccino is really good. We're trying the apple brie financier, which we were gonna take home. It just, um, I'm not getting a heavy brie smell. It's a little plain. You don't really see that in I'm wondering where the, the brie is. Compared to Mobler. Mobler. Mobler's better? Oh yeah. Doksogung was built under another name in the late 1500s, about a year after Japanese invasion, and it was built to be a secondary palace. This building here probably looks a little bit out of place. The last king of the Joseon dynasty was King Goldong, and his whole idea was like, Korea needs to become more modern and it needs to be promoted to other countries. So he worked on promoting Korea and modernizing everything in Korea. There was a big Russian influence in the army at that time. He built Sokchojeon under a Western architecture style within the palace grounds to kind of represent that intermingling of Korea's traditional ideals as well as more modern influences from other countries. What's the, what, what's it called again? It's Titanic. So what's the title of the song? My heart will go on. That's right. It's time to go, I guess. Why did I give up the violin in fifth grade? It could have been good. Just kidding, I sucked ass, but still. Okay, let's go to the museum. We were just walking down Doksugungil, which is known for like a, being the breakup street, and I always wondered why. It's because the museum we're gonna go to in a bit um, was built after a courthouse. So there used to be a courthouse, and couples would be walking down the road for their divorce. But yeah, this is the breakup street. Do you feel like you're in K-drama right now? Oh yeah. <laughs> All I have to do is fall into somebody's arms <laughs> and kiss them in episode 12. <laughs> Seoul Museum of Art. <laughs> I 
Obviously we can't really film in here, but we're hungry anyway, so we just did a quick tour through the exhibits. Yeah, we're gonna go eat some chualtong and talk about it when we get there. Oh, there's like so a single yellow. rose. It's so cute, look. Oh yeah. It's quite warm, but we have to honor this fall day and go eat some chualtong, which is ground loach little ground loach fish and it's popular in the fall so i think it's literally called like fall fish stew we're gonna go enjoy a warm bowl or a hot bowl of chua tang so these are called like mikuraji. Mikuraji? Yeah. and when i looked it up in english we don't really eat these but it's a loach they grind these little suckers up and stick them in a stew the chua tang place was on a break so we're eating so long tang which is okay I'm pretty disappointed, but it's okay. Do I look disappointed? You're very disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing to eat. Mm -mm. Also, we're the only ones here. So I feel really awkward. And that's why I'm whispering. Smells like treasure nuts, baby. Okay. Yeah, this is like for them for for That's one. crazy, yeah. And oh, we couldn't eat twelve tongue. We had to settle for a solemn tongue, so we're trying to get the fall vibe back with these Cheshire nuts, but they're kind of expensive. They're yummy. They're not too dry, right? And that concludes our fall day in November here in City Hall area. How do you like to spend your fall? Where do you go? I think that this area is probably my second favorite, second only to Bukhansan. Have a great fall, be safe, and see you in the next one. Bye!